So why not, I thought, why not uh, talk through some tiling? So four pictures from outside on my four panel artwork. They're similar in, you know, capture because they came off of a tripod. So I thought, oh, whatever, I'll just talk through what I'm doing. So first thing I'm going to do is make a canvas that can fit all four of them. So I'm going to left justify it and multiply essentially the width by four. So a little extra would be 13,000 pixels. And I usually like to get a little bit of up and down. So I'll go whatever, 4250. Uh gave it to me in black fair enough guess it doesn't really matter although I would prefer white let's do it again image canvas size uh, let's go white I'm on a new build so a lot of my settings are off so 3024 pixels whatever I'm just gonna overshoot the landing go 13,000 let's go 4500 left justify it boom all right let's pull those other pieces in yes I know it'll give me a warning about blah 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 one drag that in the warning is just because on the layers palette it's still background if I double click that and turn it into a layer instead of background, then when I grab it with the selection tool, it'll just come along for the ride instead of giving me the warning. Yeah, okay, now I'm going to get that out of the way. Oh, that might be kind of helpful to see that. So you can see that they're quite identical and that the, the there's a little bit of, well, whatever. The capture's not not that bad. So the first thing I like to do is just get rid of uh, the stuff I don't need around the edges. And I'm actually going to turn the background to something that's more easy to some muddy middle some muddy middle value color like there. Green is fine. So I'm going to select, see what I'm doing, I'm doing that same layer business to the bottom layer. Oh, I see the, yeah, okay, sorry, the bottom, the bottom one is actually flat. So what I'm going to do is, actually I'm going to select this one. I'm going to sort of pluck it. Actually, I'm just going to. Shift, Command, I, select, inverse, delete, and I should get transparency. That's what I want. Then I want to make an actual layer, stick it on the bottom. M for marquee, square version, Alt, delete, or Command, delete, whichever, to turn that color into my background color. And now I'm going to actually kind of go layer by layer. Let's start with this one. And just do some erasing of stuff I don't need and this make sure I get a hard brush instead of a soft brush if it's paper and and stuff I, I don't need it so I don't need any of the, that's the part of this whole process is actually getting rid of all of the white pixels you don't ever want to send stupid white pixels to print you want to deliver a nice transparent PNG file. So that's like, here's some just broad strokes like that. It's the little. And I grab the lasso tool line version and then just. You know, probably people see what I'm doing and be like, oh, there's a better ways to do that. I'm. Oh, where the, that's the case. Little, uh, grab the S for stamp tool. That looks like a good thing to sample from. Alt to sample. Goodbye. Um, 
Okay, now it, it's it's important when you're when you've got artwork here to not chop off more than you you need to. So it's rather than use the brush, I use the lasso tool so I get right to the edge because this actually I want this to register to the next tile, so I want that to be nice and clean. Delete that. See you later. I've done enough work. Let's save as or save ass. So. Well, I can keep it in raw. I'll just call it whatever. Fort St. James Tiling PSD. There. Yep, saved. As we were, so. I guess now let's speed through the rest of these.